inchi na historia kubwa sana ya ya uporaji wa ardhi lakini haijawahi kufikia kiwango ambacho tumekuwa nacho kwa miaka miwili iliyopita e, watu wengi sana wanasema kuhusu hii migogoro ya Masai na Mbarali lakini wa Tanzania kwa maelfu sehemu nyingi sana ambayo watu wengi sana wajasikia wanaporwa ardhi kwa namna ambayo kwa ku, sijawahi kusikia sijawahi kuisoma kama hivi ndivyo utakavyokwenda e, miaka michache ijayo kwa kweli mamilioni ya watanzania watakuwa hawana chochote na nadhani tunahitaji kutafuta namna ya kuisimamisha kwa sababu E, kabisa, kabisa. unajua tu, tulikuwa tuna sana na mwakilizi magufuli kwa mambo mengi na alistahili hiyo lakini sasa hivi kuna watu wana wanacheka cheka alafu mwisho wa siku wanachukua kila kitu sasa, sasa kuna kuna uhifadhi kama trigger ya land grabbing kuna biashara e, yani sasa hivi unajua wakulima anapoteza ardhi kwa sababu kuna tajiri mkulima anahitaji eneo kuna, kuna vijiji actually yani mtu analima kitongoji kizima kuna maeneo babati mfano kama tatu nne mtu analima kitongoji kizima kuna manyumba ya watu kuna mashamba kwa hiyo uhifadhi peke yake kwa sababu yawezekana ana access na corridors of power then anaweza ka decide chochote E, tumesema kuhusu hifadhi sana. E, e, mbarali e, <coughs> na kwenye ule mkanda wa Serengeti e, manake Tarime wilaya ya Serengeti maana kuelekea mpaka kule Bunda. Wa Tanzania wanaambiwa ni wavamizi. Nadhani mtakumbuka kubunda kuna sehemu watu wameonyesha kuna makaburi ya miaka ya sabini Haiwezekani ikawa ilikuwa ni national park. Na hao wanasiasa wetu wanakosea sana kwa sababu sasa hivi mfano ule mkanda wa Serengeti wana create kitu inaitwa buffer zone. Lakini buffer zone sheria inasema you cannot create that kwa, kwa, kwa kuamua kuna utaratibu ambao lazima upite kwenye serikali za mitaa actually mpaka almashauri wapange sehemu gani ipite na rules ya ya hiyo buffer zone yani kwa lugha nyingine ni kwamba buffer zone ya Serengeti upande wa magharibi na buffer zone ya Serengeti upande wa kusini rules might be different access might be different kutokana na maamuzi ya serikali za mitaa kwa maana ya kwa sababu lazima usisi ya mashauri ambayo inakuwa impacted lazima washiriki na onde hizo rules sheria haisemi lazima buffer zone iwe nje you can literally say tunatengeneza kilomita mbili kuelekea eh, at least that, eh, kuna 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 hiyo logic kwamba haisemi it must be out sasa whether you are going in whether will be lawful that is another different thing e, kwa hiyo mambo mengi sana yanatokea ya, ya lakini mengi sana hayafuati sheria e, kuna watu wana Arusha National Park kuna watu wa ni, ni maeneo mengi sana Arusha National Park kama watu wengi wafahamu kuna watu ambao ambao ni wilaya ya Rumeru walikuwa na mgogoro na Arusha National Park tangu miaka ya mwisho ya sabini Arusha National Park wakajaribu ku kwenda kulipa fidia lakini fidia waliotaka kulipa nadhani mwaka semana tatu ilikuwa haitoshelezi e, Commissioner wa Lands wakati ule serikali nadhani ilikuwa na floor of sense ikawaambia hii sio sawa value ya hii eneo ni kiasi hiki. Tanapa akaandika barua akasema kama bei ni hiyo hatuitaki hilo eneo. Then 2008 waka 
peleka kesi mahakamani na tuna pao kwa mshtaki mwana shiria mkua serikali watu karibia semana saba they lost e, e, kwa mapingamizi ya AG actually ambaye AG mwenye nani kwa mana wakili wa, wa, wa serikali eh? ambaye aliyekuwa wakili wa serikali kwenye hiyo kesi ni DPP wa sasa hivi so is the people at least alive well in the same system wakajaribu tena 2013 ikapigwa chini alafu sasa hivi mfumo wa mahakama sasa wameshindwa wameenda kamata wana vijiji kila mtu tunakupiga picha tunakupa fidia ardhi ambayo si yao na wameshindwa kwa njia za kimahakama kwa hiyo tuna tuna a, a government agents that believes it can only acquire land through extra violence without following the law Amba, we must shame them and tell them tunaposema usawa mbele ya sheria it also include the government lazima ianze kuheshimu sheria ndipo sisi tufuate yani haiwezekani kwamba serikali inayosimamia utekelezaji wa sheria yenyewe haiamini katika utawala wa sheria eh okay eh, of a bit of an update maana nilimsikia la nyoka na anaongea na, na, na eh kuhusu ya yeah, nadhani kuna, kuna masuala ambayo ni outright lies by the way lakini kuna some very strange admission. Nadhani nimemsikia jana balozi wetu akisema walau ndio. Eh ni marudio mtakumbuka kwamba msemaji wa serikali aliyowahi kusema kwa nini wanaondoa huduma za jamii. Wakasema kwamba kwa maoni yao wanadhani ndio njia pekee ya kufukuza watu. Bila bila kutumia mitutu kama ilivyotumika loliondo alafu msemaji wa serikali nani balozi jana anasema alisema ah watu ni wengi ndio maana tunaondoa ilipokuja swali la huduma za kijamii akasema tunaziondoa kwa sababu ni wachache mno kwa hiyo hakuna demand so at least they admit in a very public eh, discussion that they are doing those crimes ambayo nadhani is very strange imagine that's the person representing your interest Deal. to the european union yes think of it na hata hajashtuka hajajishtukia oh, kwamba anachokiongea labda kitakuwa ni jambo ambalo linaweza likatumika bidii yao you can literally think of the reply by ordinary women who have never, never gone to class one capacity is fawi yani ni tu kwamba unajua tuna changamoto nadhani CG ya Saba aliwe kusema hii nchi ina lot of incompetences kuna watu hawastahili kuwepo katika nafasi yoyote ya umma walau so anyway eh kuhusu kuhusu ardhi kwa kweli tunahitaji marekebisho makubwa sana ya mifumo yetu ya utawala e, kwa sababu wanaoporwa ardhi kwa sababu ya large scale farming wanaoporwa ardhi kwa sababu ya kutengeneza ranch wanaoporwa ardhi kwa sababu ya uhifadhi wanaoporwa ardhi kutokana na sababu nyingine yeyote ina mahusiano makubwa sana na mfumo wa utawala mkono wa baadhi ya watu mkono wa rais wasaidizi wake na masuala mengine mengine kama hayo kwa hiyo nadhani mimi sitakuwa na mengi ya, ya, ya kusema lakini tuna umbwe kubwa sana la uongozi kwenye ah, particularly kwenye land right na bahati mbaya sana nadhani kuna wasazi bari hapa bahati mbaya sana E, sitaki yele Zanzibar lakini kuna element fulani ya 
is only on the other part of the isles of the mainland kwamba hakuna haja ya kuweka hoteli si upande wa pili sasa kwamba it should be maana ni kwamba there are some people thinking these are not our people they can do whatever they want because they do not belong to them of course na kuna watu wanasaidia utamsikia yule jamaa jana anasema unajua special rapporteur hakuja kwa sababu hakuna ushahidi kwa hiyo eh, mbona hiyo sio kweli akasema hakuwa na hela kwa UN yani UN haina hela ya kuja kufanya visit serious they, they can lie anything and they can lie in public so dangerously kwa hiyo nadhani mimi sitakuwa na na mengi ya kusema lakini kusema ukweli tunahitaji kus, kusitisha this militarized conservation particularly eh, ambayo inafanya kazi pekee kama watu wanaotunza mazingira hayo hawapo asilimia 30 kati ya 34 mpaka 40 ya Tanzania ni conservation areas zote zinachukuliwa kijeshi sio sio loliono peke yake sio mbarali peke yake 40% of the land has been taken violently watu waliokuwa wanaishi katika maeneo hayo hawa, hawana fidia yoyote kuna wabunge wakati ule tunapata maratizo mwaka jana walikuwa nagonga meza now they are crying akiomo mtu atalime and many others hawakujua kwamba they saw like okay this is a massive problem and we are saying please msinyamaze kwa sababu zitakuja na kuchukua mwaka they are also crying many will follow suit they will also come crying yule yule balozi wetu wakati anamalizia kuongea alisema kwamba wamasai huko nyumbani wana furaha sana na yanayoendelea ya, ya na kwamba sisi wauni wachache e, tuna sababu zetu zingine tofauti ndio iliyotuleta huko e, e, mosi nadhani wote mtakuwa mnajua kwa masi kweli kabisa kwanza ni yake kubwa sana akawa anasema hmm. yawezekana tuna shida shida tusaidiwe hiyo kama vile ana signify kama vile omba omba huh? e, bahati mbaya e, atakuweza kupata nafasi ya reply but anyway sio kila endaye Ulaya ana ana ni omba omba kabisa yeye pia yupo Ulaya ndio atueleze na yeye anaombaomba tena inawezekana yeye kidia the Tanzanian government mm-hmm. received over 400 million euro ndio we don't receive a coin ndio uh, i just wanted to say that at least in public mm. whatever they are may, they may be thinking mm. we cannot be reduced to that kama wana hiyo mentality mm. uh, serious reason why we are roaming around ni kwa sababu ya maisha watu wetu and mm. they know we are doing that for the interest of our people so I, i just wanted to, to to say they might be listening sisi sio omba omba we don't we, we have our own self sufficient economy they are breaking it ufugaji mm. ni, ni mfumo wa maisha ambayo unaondoa utegemezi lakini Deal. they are fighting it sasa atuhitaji na kuna mama alisema atuhitaji to become beggars we just okay. need to run our economy the pastoralism we want it to function in our own ancestral territories so kama anadhani kila aliyopo ulaya ni is a beggar maybe is one of them Uh, mi, mi personally Joseph nilichoona ni kwamba alikosa hoja sasa akawa anajaribu namna ya kuondolea credibility na amekosa busara tu ya yani mimi naweza nikasema basic alete hoja kama hana hoja angeshukuru tu kwa fursa angefunga sasa yeye anaanza kuwa personal 
mimi naamini hata uh, wenyeji wenu uh, walimshangaa sana kwa sababu haiwezekani mtu aanze ku kudimini wenzako uh, ambao umetoka nchi moja just kwa sababu wame wamesema kitu ambacho hamkubaliani mawazo lakini uh, and, and actually, yes uh, they, they were not to be part of that discussion mm-hmm. Koyo, the plan was i i i, I was it was Deal. a long table generally with some member of parliament and us wakaja wakasema jamani you are mm-hmm. condemning us unheard Mm-hmm. Why do you allow those down. people mm-hmm. to condemn us and head? And so tulipo mm-hmm. taarifa I was very quick to say okay. Ah kumbe kuna wanaanza kujua maana ya uhuru wa kujieleza. Mm-hmm. Kumbe wanajua matatizo ya kusemwa bila kupewa nafasi kama ambavyo sisi tunaumizwa bila kuwepo ku... sikilizwa. Safi kabisa. I told them please mm-hmm. bring them so that they can come and lie as always now in public now <laughs> on record now on record of course that's why yes but i was very clear like okay araka araka tu kwa kuje lakini important is kumbe wana wanaelewa matatizo ya kusemwa bila kusikilizwa we have afforded them the opportunity ungesema hapana actually mimi 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 ka mimi kama na nini kwa ushauri yani kama kama mimi ningekuwa ninge na, na shauri kwa upande wa serikali mimi ningeombea hata wasiende kwa sababu naona wameharibu kuliko ku, kusaidia but no, of course no. kwa cause yetu sisi yani no, no, that's the, that's the end of their capacity you know <laughs> I, I wanna figure it kama they, they talk like they will bring <laughs> some fake signatures and bring some fake evidence and they think everyone thinks like them that's why they are coming kwa hiyo sawa sawa joseph kuna swala moja hapa la haraka uh, ya wildlife uh, wanasema wildlife management ile conservation management areas yes wma yeah wma wildlife hmm. management areas yes. eh, hiyo hiyo nimeona ime, imeletwa letwa eh, labda tu uh, tu kama solution na ili na alizungumzia kidogo lisu kwamba lazima ipatikane nafasi au kuwepo na suluhu ya wananchi kuishi uh, na kunufaika na rasilimali hasa katika hizi hifadhi na hakuna haja kwa kuhamisha na leo pia nimeona kwenye tweet ya German Embassy wame tweet kwamba wako na, na wanaharakati ambao watamisi wajui lakini anyway Uh, wa Masai ambao wana discuss eh, hii WMAs yani wildlife management areas kama suluhisho una maoni gani kuhusiana na hilo okay eh nadhani nishasema wakati fulani hivi kuna mifumo kadhaa ya ya uhifadhi we have the national park like Serengeti ambazo hatiruhusu binadamu kuishi kuna game reserve na game control Game reserve initially haziruhusu makazi jumla shughuli za kibinadamu isipokuwa uwindaji na hoteli game control area zilikuwa zinaruhusu maisha ya kibinadamu ndani ndio maana la mashauri yetu ilikuwa ndani ya iliyokuwa game lo, 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 game control until mwaka 2009 ambapo sheria ilibadilika ika separate na kutoka 2009 ilikuwa ni marufuku kuishi kufanya shughuli za kilimo ufugaji na masuala mengine ndani ya game controls and um, eh, nilishasema mara kadhaa kwa kwa misingi ya hiyo hakuna game control area ambayo inafanya inatakana iwe ipo kisheria nadhani nilishasema hiyo sasa hizi game hizi uh, WMA kuna watu wanaisifu sana sana naona inasukumwa kweli ehe WMA ukisoma uki ile ile sheria na regulation zake ni kwamba zinaanzishwa ndani ya ardhi ya vijiji alafu zina kuwa yani maana kesa mnakubaliana mtatekeleza sort of regulation kwamba ni nyakati zipi mnaweza mkatumia nini kama wana kijiji kwa hiyo mfano unaanza kwenye pastoral area kwa hiyo mtakubaliana kwamba ni nyakati gani mnaweza mkalisha mifugo sehemu fulani nyakati gani kwa hiyo 
mnakubaliana then you make a sort of uh, of a regulation hiyo tu yenyewe maana ni kwamba I, i can be denied access kwa sababu kama ni it, it, you know there is corruption within it unakuwa na kama na nini watu kama 25 ambao ndo wanaenda kufanya hizo arrangement on behalf of the village if the minister in Tanzania can be robbed as Kigwangala said how about 25 only citizen lakini ya pili eh, kwa kwa sababu sehemu kubwa ya WMO hizi zina ni hunting business kwa hiyo hizi hunting business wanakusanya hiyo hela eh, alafu baadaye zinagawiwa of course zinagawiwa kwa vijiji those are government agencies actually therefore i lose the land to pasture so that the village can get some money je kwa sababu fulani nafanana na zilizokuwa game control areas okay kabla ya mwaka 2019 zina almost the same element or a bit worse kwa sababu zilizokuwa game controls hakukuwa na any sort of regulation to say uhusiwi nini kwenye hili kuna sort of restriction sasa sasa hivi zilizokuwa zote game control ndo sasa hivi zinaitwa game reserves wanasema wanazi upgrade my warning to Tanzania ukikubaliana na game easy wmo is kwa sababu management wildlife management areas, areas maana yake ni kwamba there are wildlife areas then a day they come and say we want to make it a game reserve they will come and tell you it was a game area so kwa maoni yangu we need to be very careful haina maslahi yoyote kwa binadamu wanaokaa kwenye maeneo hayo particularly ordinary citizen wala haina maslahi yoyote kwa wanyamapori vile vile kwa sababu ni maeneo ya uindaji we need a new thinking in a conservation ambayo moja ya mbinu ya uhifadhi haitahusisha uwindaji hao wawindaji hawa ni matatizo matupu they are very corrupt na we need a new thinking kuhakikisha kwamba we do not have any conservation strategy that tend to allow hunting because is not on the welfare of the animals is not the in on the best interest of the human being kwa hiyo haina maslahi kwa upande wote kwa hiyo kuna no sifu i have serious reservation haina maana yoyote some people can get money at a obc kuna watu wanapata hela hata kujiji game control mimi na sufferings kuna watu wanunufaika nayo so is not anything we can say is the model that we need the model that we need is the model that people take care of the nature themselves sio you replace with the hunter no unajua ngorongoro ngorongoro was kwa maoni yangu kati ya kati ya hizi model of conservation ngorongoro was to be a best model you have the people and the nature conservation continues na haikutakana changamoto ya ngorongoro ni kwamba they deviated from the idea na kuanzisha policies ambazo haziheshimu haki za binadamu lakini pia ambazo zina undermine the nature conservation kutokana na demand za utalii and these people think like utalii na na uhifadhi ni ni kitu kimoja is never one they they don't know sasa tunahitaji model ambayo watu wanaendelea kuwepo na kupata haki zao yani anayetaka kujenga ajenge anayetaka kufuga afunge hao wanyama waendelee kurob lakini wasiwindwe then utaku, utapata a friendly ecosystem ambayo ha, haina maratizo ambayo haina dispute between the land users and the product of nature conservation to be the animals and others kwa hiyo ni hayo matajiri